Hello dear traders, my name is Tim and these are the main trading ideas for current trading session. First of all, let's discuss the situation with EURUSD. The EURUSD pair is updating local lows and is trading near 1.0550. Hopes for the growth of the currency against the backdrop of a decrease in the consumer price index in the Eurozone in January were not confirmed and Friday's report on the German gross domestic product disappointed the markets. The indicator for the fourth quarter of 2022 decreased by 0.4% instead of the 0.2% decline expected by analysts, which means means uh, uh, that uh, it is dangerously close to the negative annual dynamics and the recession of the German economy. Pressure on the euro was also exerted by the February index of current economic conditions from the I4, which uh, updated multi-month lows. Given that uh, this indicator is often used by analysts uh, as a leading indicator, we can assume a further uh, slow down in the economy. Against this background, the decline of the euro may continue. Next, USD Japanese yen. The USD Japanese yen pair is actively growing, receiving support uh, from the soft comments of the Bank of Japan. The new head of the Japanese regulator Ueda, who spoke in the low house of parliament, um, did not give a single hawkish signal uh, that uh, uh, could resume demand for the yen in the short term. This leaves uh, the currency vulnerable uh, to uh, further downward correction at a time uh, when the Fed and other major central banks may have uh, to go for larger rate hikes uh, to bring down inflation. Market participants hoped that the new management of uh, the bank would recognize a significant increase in inflation, as well as the need to abandon the soft policy. However, this did not happen. Against this background, the strengthening of the dollar against the yen may continue. And finally, gold. Gold continues to develop a bearish rally and test the 1810 level. The pressure on gold is exerted by the strengthening of the dollar, the focus of investors in the minutes of the February meeting of the US Federal Reserve, which confirmed the intention of the regulator to continue to tighten policy. Moreover, several members of the Fed immediately supported the idea of the need to raise rates by 50 basis points. Also on the dollar's buying side was the annual benchmark PCE price price index, the Federal Reserve preferred measure of inflation, rose to 4.7% from 4.6%. This means that inflation in the US continues to rise, creating conditions for the growth of the dollar and treasury yields and reducing the attractiveness of gold. Against this background, gold risks updating new lows. So these are the main ideas for now. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.